guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing this disinfectant UV light right here from Dollar Tree some of y'all requested that I do a review so if you're interested in hearing it then y'all stay tuned I would love to have you all right so let's get into it I am going to be reviewing this as seen on TV product It's safe and healthy disinfectant UV light Purchase from Dollar Tree, okay? Some of y'all wanted me to do a review, so let's get to it, all right? Now, this particular product, it says it's a powerful UV light, lab-tested technology, portable, folds down, works on most surfaces. And on the back, they give you some places that you can use it, such as masks, toys, electronics, cars, shipping boxes, doorknobs, phones, keyboards, shopping carts, light switches, packages, high chairs, ATMs, keys, and more, okay? Those are some of the places that you can use this wand on. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. So when you open it up, what you will see first is you will see where it says safe and healthy, uh, disinfectant UV light, and just has some information. All right, little pamphlets. On the back, if you flip it over, it tells you how to use it. All right. It says to power on, flip open the top section, then press the power button. Hold the device 1.5 inches above the area you wish to sanitize. 10 seconds for plastic, metal, and glass surfaces. One chime. It will chime one time, okay? 20 seconds for wood, porcelain, polyester, cotton, and cardboard surfaces. It chimes two times. All right, you got it? Then it says, when done, press the power button again to turn off and fold down the top section. All right, so let me make sure I got it handy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like packaged up right here. I've already put my batteries in and took off the little blue tape right here so we can already be past that step. But it says safe and healthy on the front right here. All right, so what you do is open it up like this okay this is how it looks I'm gonna show you that part first that's how it looks there's the little power button back there y'all see that now let me close this back because we're gonna talk about these batteries right quick okay so I've seen where it says some people said it didn't work when they put the batteries in they went out and bought some more batteries some better batteries just that and the other let me tell you about this it you have to you, it take first it takes four AAA batteries okay and they have a certain way for you to put these batteries in y'all see that it's a certain way for you to put these batteries in I tried the normal way because they have the prongs sticking up you know the little springy prongs they have them sticking up and to me that means you turn the flat surface and put them on the prongs but no that's that's incorrect. All right, as the picture states on the battery cover, you have the tip, which is, see a little tip on the battery? You have the tip on the prong, okay, on the spring. Then next to it, you have the flat surface on the spring. Then up under it, you have the flat surface on the spring. Beside it, you have the tip on the spring, okay, you understand? So it should look like this right here. Y'all see that? That's how it should be looking. Now, like I said, when I first put them in, uh, I thought it wasn't working either, okay? Because I bypassed the little picture on the battery cover, and I put them how I thought I wanted to put them, how, that, how I thought they went. That wasn't right. So when I corrected them by the picture, then it turned on, all right? So I wanted to point that out. So let's put that back together. Okay, so again, we're going to unfold it. This is what it looks like. That's where your little UV light comes out of. All right, so let's turn this on, and it says, "Do not put this in your eyes." So do not let your little children play with this because you know they like to shine it in your shine little things in your eyes and their eyes, and then you might go blind or something. Okay, but that's how it looks when it's lit up. All right, so let me read it again. Ten seconds for no hold device one point five inches above the area you wish to sanitize. Ten seconds for plastic, metal, and glass surface one chime. 20 seconds for wood, porcelain, polyester, cotton, and cardboard, two times. So, hold it like this. I guess that's about 1.5. And then I, so it chimed once. So, I'm assuming 
that it, it means it's sanitized, okay? That, <laughs> so, let's do it again. So I guess that would be sanitized. And let me do the bag. So I guess the back is sanitized, all right? So that's basically how this little wand works. And then when you through, you press the uh, power button, cut it back off, fold it back up. Y'all see that? It looks like this. And then you put it back in this little thing or wherever you want to put it. All right. So let's talk about it. <laughs> so y'all, um, hmm. Let me see how I want to say this because I don't want to say nothing wrong and nothing crazy. All right. Um, let me see. Let me make sure I did everything correctly uh, before I before I give y'all my honest opinion. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So on a scale from one to ten, I would give it a seven. And I'm going to give it a seven because one, the price is, you know, you can't beat that price, one dollar for an as seen on TV product, especially when it sanitizes with a UV light. Okay. So that's a good thing. All right. One dollar. Two, it's portable. That's another good thing. It's portable. Three, you can use this on multi surfaces. Okay. So those are my pros to this little device right here, okay? Those are the good things that I like about it. Great for travel. Um, it, it was only a dollar, okay? And you can use it on multi-surfaces as it shows on the back, all right? Let's talk about some cons. Number one would be the fact that you have to use four AAA batteries, okay? <laughs> I don't understand why it couldn't. It took like maybe two, or maybe it could have been like uh, something to use on a uh, that required charging, something like that. Uh, so yeah, too many batteries. Okay, number two, I'm not really sure that it actually did anything. Okay, I'm just assuming that it sanitized this phone. Okay, I'm 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 assuming that it sanitized the phone front and back. Okay, because it beat. It did what it said it was supposed to do, okay? But I have no way of actually telling if it has been sanitized, okay? So, unless you one of them ones that are a it's able to tell that you go in there with your little Q-tip and your swab and you got all these different little incubators where you can test for germs and stuff and see if they've been removed, you're not really going to know if you sanitized, if this thing has been sanitized or not, okay? So, that's a major, major issue for me. Um... However, however, this is something that would ease the fear of a lot of people out of here, out here. It would ease the fear of a lot of people being that it says it's, it disinfects and it has a UV light. That would kind of calm people down because they feel like they're, you know, they have something that can work really, really well. And also I want to add another plus sign is if you don't want to use like the harsh chemicals on the things that you're uh, wiping down, like the Clorox, the Lysol, and all that, whatever else you use to sanitize, this would be good also, okay? So maybe I should have gave it an 8, okay? Because that's that's a real good thing when you don't want to use toxins and you just want to use something that, you know, it, you can just bypass the, the chemicals with, okay? This would be really, really good for that. But going back to what I said, this would ease a lot of people's fear, okay? Some people that are germaphobes. I'm a germaphobe. I, I don't like germs. However, would I just use this alone? If I'm out somewhere like sanitizing shopping carts and stuff, would I just use this alone? Just, just pull this out and just use this alone and just skip on into the store? No, I'm probably still going to go over there and get my little wipe. Wipe that down and probably use this too because, like I said, I'm a germaphobe. I don't do germs, all right? So, yeah, this would probably help a lot of people out. A lot of people, okay? But like I said, there's no, there's not a really good way to tell if everything is being sanitized and killing germs like it says, okay? Unless 
you into all that stuff and you can you got them ways them little incubators and stuff to tell if it's killed all that okay i don't <laughs> so i have no clue all i'm going on is the word of what this says okay so for me i probably would still you know like i said when i'm out shopping carts and probably my uh stern wheel you know places that i touch common you know a lot i would probably use this and my little uh sanitizing cloth thing okay so yeah um yeah i'm just looking at this like wow <laughs> i have never seen anything like this and i probably did not bypass it because i wasn't about to pay you no know, uh, i've seen something like 59 dollars i've been googling seeing where people have paid like a lot of money for these okay some people said it didn't work I don't know how they how they was able to tell some people said it worked some people said that they felt more safe after using it they felt more the uh, area that they cleaned was um, bacteria less I think I seen bacteria less okay and so I'm like okay then alright but like I said for a dollar you can't beat it alright it gets an eight it gets an 8. I thought it was a neat little gadget. Like I said, you can give it as a gift, put it in stocking stuff, you know, whatever you want to do. For a dollar, you can't beat it. And every time they bring those ass seen TV little uh, doodads to Dollar Tree, you know I'm going to get them. <laughs> Especially the ones that claim they're helping you out and everything. So, like I said, I have no way to test. Uh, that it actually kills the virus or anything like that but I showed you that mine does work okay if I ain't did nothing else I showed you that it worked how it works alright so yeah I think it's a neat little gadget and it gets an 8 alright so that's going to be it for my little Dollar Tree review y'all that is awesome I, I, you know when you say Dollar Tree review and put ass scene TV on TV product that's just like wow <laughs> Especially this, y'all. I can't keep uh, I can't put it down because it's it's neat, but I wish it was a way to tell that it's actually doing what it said it's supposed to be doing. That would be even better. I know a lot of times they said, uh, you got to think about the UV light, the strength of the UV light and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, neat, y'all. Neat. All right, let me get off here. Thank y'all so much for watching and supporting my channel. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Brown Eyes fam. I would love to have you. And if you haven't seen these, keep your eye out. And if you have seen them, pick up multiples because I know somebody in your family who would love to have one. Okay, they would probably love to have one. So yeah, let me get off here, y'all. Y'all have a blessed and positive Sunday. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye, y'all.